the future of you know ball python breeding now we made the trident version now this snake right here is really powerful and this snake is actually black pastel chocolate hypo desert ghost hey what's up guys how's everyone doing today hope everyone's having a great day guys i know i say this a lot that i'm really excited about today's vlog or when i do a vlog but really i promise you guys i really really am super super excited about this vlog as you guys can see in the title we're gonna do my top holdbacks of 2021 and guys man they are freaking bangers man all bangers i can't even like tell you where to even start we've done top 10 snakes from here and there and projects things like that but i've never done like my top 10 holdbacks and i'm telling you guys I don't even know where to freaking start from, but the stuff I'm gonna show you guys is so insane. Some of the stuff I probably haven't even shown. Another thing I wanna talk about before we get to this, I wanna talk about the tarantulas. Man, it was so cool. Remember, you guys know that I just started, I just got these recently. I've been watching them. Um, I've ordered, it's so funny, I've ordered like two uh, different little like acrylic tanks for them. One, I got one way too small. The second one, I got it way too big, man. And yeah, but look, they're getting a lot bigger. Look at this, look at this little guy. Dude, I love seeing the meat, man. It was funny. I was, uh, we were feeding some snakes here the other day. We were feeding the snakes here, and my daughter comes in. She's like, "Oh my gosh, one of your tarantulas is dead!" And I'm like, "What?" And I saw it completely, you know, upside down. I was like, "Oh my gosh!" But then I realized it was molting and stuff like that. And the day afterwards, it came out, had a cool little thing, but it was a cool experience. But yeah, so the tarantulas are doing really good. We just ordered some new um, acrylic uh, tanks for them. Hopefully, Hope they're the right yeah. size. <laughs> Hopefully, if they're not. Well, I don't know what to tell you guys. Also, um, we just started, uh, we just kind of revamped our AEP brand a little bit. We, uh, we're coming back with the old school evolving shirts just because, man, I can't tell you guys how many uh, messages and emails we get about those shirts. It actually took us a while to get these shirts going again because the people that we go through were just, you know, having some problems there and they actually had, um, they still owed us a couple of shirts. So we finally got in contact with them. They're gonna send them out here shortly. But we did this new shirt that, I mean, I'm gonna do a total separate vlog on this because it has to do with, you know, Fast and Furious, Paul Walker and Roger Rotas. And I'm gonna get into depth when this shirt is made. It's honestly, probably one of the best shirts that you know i i personally you know have made myself even tina was like oh my gosh my idea is freaking cool sick idea. it's gonna be really cool all right guys enough talking um let's get started and let's go out and start showing these uh holdbacks all right guys this video is literally just gonna be me talking about snakes i'm gonna show i'm never gonna say top 10 or anything I mean, i'm just gonna show you guys a lot of snakes and i hope you guys enjoy this vlog but i'm gonna show you guys some powerhouse stuff and the future of you know ball python breeding over here at aep's uh you know holdbacks all right, so first up, I want to start off with the Trident gene here real quick, just because I'm really, really excited about this gene. Um, so even though it's in shed, you guys kind of get an idea. This right here is a Trident clown. It's a new gene, um, man, but I mean, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna, it has a lot of potential on this thing right here. Now, the cool thing is I had a couple of combos of this. So again, this is just a Trident clown, right? Now, I was lucky enough to make a red stripe Trident clown. And look how insane that is, man. Could you imagine when you start getting some other combos in here, how sick this is gonna look? Look at that. Now, we hit some crazy, I mean, honestly, I couldn't believe it. Now, let me show you this snake here real quick, just so you guys kinda get an example. So right here, you guys know this right here is a spot nose, red stripe, yellow belly clown. Pretty cool snake, right? I mean, powerhouse snake. I mean, you guys saw my mail. He's been doing a lot of work. We hatched a lot of these. And these things are really, really nice. You can't go wrong with the spot nose, red stripe, yellow belly clown. Now we made the Trident version of this bad boy right here, man. And let me show you guys how insane, how much more orange and red it is. It looks more like a Pompeii would look. And look at this. Look at that, man. Look at the pixelation just alone on the yellow belly on the body and how much darker and like more orange it is on top on the dorsal stripe. It's not as dark or as plain as the other one, but look at that. How crazy is that, man? Now, luckily I made two of these. I made 1.1. This one actually sold and is going to my good friend in Indonesia, Steven. So that's, uh, I just wanted to show you guys how crazy the Trident gene is. Now, another one that I want to show you guys is actually I posted on my Instagram. It was really cool. I did a um, a side-by-side -side on them. Hold on, where is it at? So check this out. This is pretty cool. So right here we have a super orange dream fire Pied 100% heck clown. And look at the face on this thing. How cool is that? Now, I got so lucky. I talked to you guys about, you know, all my clown pied parents. I did, you know, clown head pied to clown head pied and 
Dude, I missed all the odds. I couldn't even make a double visual. Then I made a, uh, it was a clown pie to a double hit. And dude, I killed it. I hit a couple visuals and I hit this bad boy right here. Now this snake right here is really powerful. And this snake is actually available as well. Remember, Super Orange Dream, Fire Pied 100% Head Clown. So everything's gonna come out OD. Now I made the double visual of this bad boy right here. Now let me pull him out right here. You're gonna be like, man, dude, you take care of your um, your holdbacks a lot better than you do in your um, your non-holdbacks. But look at this. This right here is the double visual of this right here. But you can see, man, they look very, very alike. This one right here is the clown pied version of this. So right here we have Super Orange Dream, Fire, Clown Pied, and then right here we just have the Pied Head Clown version. How freaking insane is that, right? So this right here is my holdback again. Uh, I just wanted to do a comparison to you guys so you guys could see, but um, let's keep going. All right, these next ones right here, man, are freaking insane. Check this out. So right here we have a chocolate red stripe yellow belly clown. And this right here is a female. Look how freaking chunky they look, man. They look like me a month ago. <laughs> look at that. Is it picking it up really good on the camera, Turtle? Oh yeah, it looks good. Look at the colors she looks on this thing right though. here. Look at her. So we have this girl right here, holdback. Majority of the stuff that I have here are, um, are females. Then this one right here, do not try to bite me. Right here we have an inchy red stripe jungle woma leopard clown. We actually have a male version of this one as well. These things are freaking feisty. But look at this, look how clean this is, man. Again, is it picking it up? Oh yeah. Look at that. So insane. And then, so it was funny, when I, that, when I showed you guys the super orange dream fire uh, clown pied, I actually had made this guy right here but this guy's actually gonna go up for sale now just because, you know, I actually made the double visual of this. But right here we have a Super Orange Dream Fire Leopard Yellow Belly Clown, 66% head pied. Now look how beautiful this guy is, man. You cannot go wrong with this snake either as well. Now definitely if he proves out to be head pied, he's gonna be that much more of a banger as well. But again, Super Orange Dream Fire Leopard Yellow Belly Clown, 66% have pied. And this guy will be available as well. Freaking awesome right here, snake right here. Awesome Pretty here, handsome. right snake here. <laughs> All right, so then from right here, we're gonna move on to the snake that I, I'm telling you guys, I still think this right here is the Pompeii. We've hit, we've hit every freaking combo of this. Every variation of combo. And it does not, I mean, this looks totally different than the other ones. So again, this right here, I believe to be the Pompeii, which is black pastel, spot nose, red stripe, yellow belly clown. The only difference is this is 100% head hypo, 50% head desert ghost. How insane is this guy? So then from right here, I'm gonna go to another snake here real quick. This guy right here is another one. He's in shed, but right here we have a black pastel, blackhead, leopard, clown, 100% head hypo, 50% head desert ghost. Imagine this guy proving out uh, to be head desert ghost. How insane is that gonna be, man? Imagine this being in hypo, desert ghost version of this. That'll be freaking insane. So from that clutch for that Pompeii, right? Um, I actually held back a lot of other stuff too, a lot of females from there. I'm gonna show you guys two of them. So right here we have a red stripe clown, 100% head hypo, 50% head desert ghost. And then right here we have the black pastel red stripe clown, 100% uh, head hypo, 50% head desert ghost. Look how pretty these things are right here. These things are so insane, man. So these two are other holdbacks right here. Now from right here, we're gonna move, um, we're gonna move up to some, nope, we're not gonna move up to that yet. Give me one second. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys some other pied clown stuff right here that I'm holding back. Oh, and it sucks that they're in shed, man, but I think these are some of the prettiest snakes that I've made as well. Both of them. This one's a Super Orange Dream Yellow Belly Pied Head Clown. And this right here, again, it's in shed, but right here is a Super Orange Dream Yellow Belly Inchy GeneX Pied 100% Head Clown, both of these. So I had to keep them, you know, of course, who was not gonna keep Super Orange Dream Pied? That have they're stacked with combos that are 100% head clown, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so I put these back, and then I'm gonna get into the Batman. You guys know we made a vlog one time, but just about the Batmans. You know, I, I came over here so I can show you guys these actually real, really quick. These Batmans right here are actually pretty badass, but I'm not gonna. These are not the ones I was gonna show you guys. But we were lucky enough again to make this right here, which is a red stripe yellow belly Batman. Should we go in that lighting better? Or is it yeah, good right yeah, here? come back. Yeah. Here. All right, again. So right here we have a red stripe yellow belly. Clown? How sick is that, man? Look how big they're getting, man. These things just hatched a couple of months ago. No. And then we have this powerhouse right here that I had to, you know, oh man, of course it has to be in shit. Let's go over here. 
Oh, and then man. this right here would have to just have everything, which is Mystic, Fire, Red Stripe, Yellow Belly, Batman. This is the most stacked Batman that I have besides the Cypress one. But look at that. Female as well, putting on some size. All right, so let's get to the Batmans that I wanted to show you guys. Talk about, I mean, this right here is upgrading your Batmans like crazy. I mean, last year we did Cypress Batmans, and now we have them right there. But you want to talk about, like, taking it to the next level? Check this out. Now, until the visuals are made, right here we have two Batmans, 1.1, but they're 100% head desert ghost. Now, we have a male and we have a female. Again, these are Batmans, 100% head desert ghost. But then it brings me to... Not these. Oh, my gosh. I made a vlog on this one about, you know, the Batmans. You know, this is one of the things I was offered a lot of money for. Um, but right here we have Batman, 100% had sunsets. How crazy is that, man? And it's funny, you saw the other Batmans, right? They're a lot lighter, just Batmans in general, a lot lighter. But what I have noticed, cause I was the first one to make Clown, 100% had sunsets, that the head sunset really makes these things look a lot more chocolate-like, right? Like a darker jean. Yeah. I'll give you guys another example. So again, let me do a side-by-side. -side. So right here we have a, a Batman head sunset, and then right here we have a Batman head desert ghost. But you can see the difference, man, just on the head and just the coloration on it. Just yeah. clowns come out a lot darker uh, when they're head sunset than normal. Here, I'll give you another great example right here. This thing's actually going to, to Europe. Right here, we have a leopard clown. You would think this thing had chocolate or something else, right? But it's just a leopard clown, 100% head sunset. And that head looks so orange. Yeah, just there's something crazy about, you know, about the, the head sunset that makes these clowns look like that. I made so much clowns that just didn't, you know, they didn't look like regular clowns. So back to the the, the clown head um, desert ghost stuff. Here's one of my favorite snakes. I think this one's really pretty. Right here we have a spot nose lesser clown 100% head desert ghost. Now I held back a lot of clown head desert ghost stuff. I'm telling you guys, like a bunch of them. Um, I have over here. Two red striped clown head desert ghosts. Again, I was late on this project, but the good thing about, you know, when I first got into this hobby, well, industry, when I got into this industry, I bought a lot of clown females from Justin, man. And, you know, all those females that I was, you know, purchasing a lot of like big dollars on, by the time, you know, they were ready, I was, you know, then I got a DG clown. So when I put it to him, you know, even though I haven't made double visuals, you know, Justin made the triple visual, but even if you still look at it, I have more he uh, clown combo head desert ghosts that are probably more powerful than some double visual just being a clown, you know, desert ghost. So in the long run, hopefully I think I could, you know, with all the females that I'm holding back, I could catch up to a lot of these awesome breeders, man, that are making crazy stuff. I mean, so that's one thing. And then I have these right here as well. I made three of these bad boys. Look at this, guys. Black Pastel Chocolate Hypo Desert Ghost, 100% head clown. Not only did I make one, but two. And not only two, oh, they're only shared, but three. This right here is actually going to um, to Europe. And look at this. I will be making a vlog just on these snakes here when I ship them out. But I made three of these bad boys, man. Some of the most expensive snakes I actually, you know, sold. Um, but beautiful, beautiful snakes. Now, before we finish off, I'm gonna show you two snakes that obviously I did not breed myself or I hatched over here. But they're such, you know, like powerhouses. I'm really, really excited about these jeans right here. So this right here came from Jessica Belk. I already showed you guys this snake. I just recently got her and look how big she's getting. Right here we have a blackhead, redhead, leopard, clown. Beautiful, man. That redhead jean is just on a whole different level. And then right here is, man, the one and only, the red stripe spot nose desert ghost, genetic stripe, 100% head clown. How freaking cool is that, right? It's so crazy that Justin <laughs> made the triple visual of this. I'm over here with the double visual hat. But again, you know, it's like hopefully in the long run, you will know, be able to make some cool, cool stuff. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, again, I have some other stuff right here. Let me show you some other cool stuff. I've always liked this thing right here. ODYB Mojo Hypo, 100% head desert ghost. So freaking beautiful. Doesn't even look like a ball python. <laughs> no, dude, it's crazy looking. And then again, I have some Orange Dream Clown, um, uh, sorry, Orange Dream Desert Ghost Clown head Hypos. Um, over here, as you guys know, I'll show you some, might as well show you guys all my crazy stuff. The Stranger Pompeii. I think it's one of the best looking strangers ever made. 
And again, we would have never, you know, known about this Pompeii if it was for Justin making this beautiful snake in the beginning. Luckily, I got to make this thing with Stranger in it. And it's a male too. That's the crazy part, man. And then over here, I mean, so right here we have a yellow belly, desert ghost, krypton het hypo, male. And it held back a lot of females back here as well. And then, of course, we have our sunset clown stuff over here. Dude, remember the Gotham females that I had made? They're getting too big for their, for their tubs. Look at this. In two weeks, they're going to their new size. But look, they're already around 500, 600 grams. Gotham clown, 100% head sunsets, dude. I'm telling you guys, man. Not this season, but hopefully, maybe this season, we're gonna hit some crazy, crazy stuff. But again, I know this video is kind of, you know, just right here. You know, just wanted to show you guys some of the crazy holdback. I'm trying to think of what else I can show you guys, but I pretty much showed you guys all the crazy stuff. So right here, we have a Cypress double head ultra male clown. And then right here, we have a Cypress Krypton head ultra male two females I have something in the works right now guys that um it's 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 just freaking insane that's gonna by the time these girls are ready we'll hopefully make hopefully make the cypress red stripe ultra male clown 100% head sunset just remember that till next time guys appreciate all the support